and turn and look at the camera. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Carter's Dash to the Rush. Today we're making a cartoon cat mask. As you know from other video, we were able to catch cartoon cat on camera. So we're making this mask as a decoy to try and lure him out of the bushes to get more shots of him. It's just a matter of paper mache and on top of an exercise ball. And it's just layer over layer over layer. I made sure to spray the exercise ball with Pam so that this paper wouldn't stick afterward. It is just a matter of getting comfortable and doing layer over layer over layer. And uh, I found that uh, even after doing multiple layers, letting them dry and doing it again, it wasn't strong enough. So I wrapped it with this chicken wire here, as you can see. It's a little bit time consuming. There's trouble. You can see how tall the chicken wire was past the ball, so I decided to trim it off. And uh, using my snips here. And then it was just a matter of uh, folding it all in and trying to get it to lay flat, leaving a hole in the bottom for someone's head to fit in. And then it was uh, from there trying to tackle the ears. The ears were a bit of an issue because there's trouble again. Trying to get them even was tricky, so it was just a trial and error for me. You can see them slowly working away at it. And, uh, I think it worked out all right. You can see I got it tight and the ears are even. So I was happy with that. So time to move forward. Getting the next layer to stick was difficult because you really had to have the newspaper wet so that they would touch the layer in between, kind of trap the chicken wire. And this is the plug here that holds the air in the exercise ball. I made sure to leave that at the hole so that I'd be able to pull it out and bring the air out. Time to pull the plug. I was a bit nervous, but once I saw it right away, it started coming away from the paper. I knew that it wasn't going to stick, so and once I started pushing on it, I realized, you know, it's not that hard, so I called Harrison over so he could try. And as you'll see, he puts his hand right over the hole, which made it harder for him, but he did all right, he got it pushed all the way down. And then it was a matter of pulling the bag out, the ball, sorry, without poking a hole in it with the chicken wire or damaging the mask too much, so I just I took my time, it came out alright. As you can see, the pan worked really well, and nothing stuck to the ball. It's alright, it's a shot of the inside. Harrison wanted to try it on, and as you'll see in a second, there is a reason why I covered it in chicken wire and made it more durable. Really big. Oh, easy. Oh, don't throw it around, buddy. Time to map out the face. Uh, just wanted to make sure that everything was going to be even. Draw a little grid. and cut out the eyes. I wanted the eyes to be three-dimensional, three so I left the top attached so I could fold it in like this. And then it was a matter of 
with doing that to the other side and putting this card, these two cardboard pieces in. I hot glued them in place, and I think they worked really well to hold those eye pieces inside the head. And then I put the sides on using the same sort of cardboard, cut them out to shape, hot glued them in, and that's the eyes. This is a putty that I made out of toilet paper, flour, glue, and water, I believe. That was my first time making it. Uh, I just wanted something that I knew would be durable and not fall off of the mask if it got bumped. But I didn't realize how hard it would dry. Otherwise, I would have tried to make this a little more smooth. I thought I would have been able to sand it, no problem, so I kind of left it. I wasn't too picky about how I left it. You can see all the bumps there. So I put her in the sun and let her dry out. You can see the mouth there. This is a shot of it drying in the sun. It actually took quite a while to dry. It took into the next day to get it totally dry. There's a shot coming up here, right there. This is the next day. And you can see it's dry totally. Hi guys! And it's time to map out the teeth. I want to just have a final outline of the, the mouth so that I go to apply, like put on the teeth. I wouldn't be getting carried away and it getting uneven and looking funny, so I drew this border and time to move on to the teeth. I used a dried up stick and I figured if I could just carve the wood like this, then the pieces of wood would serve as a tooth. And you can see I cut a whole bunch of them, cut enough to do the whole mouth, and I think it looks good. Time to sort through them, clean them up, and hot glue them onto the head. This is a little bit tedious work, but it's worth it. A bit time consuming, so I'll, I'll speed it up here for you guys. You can see the whole process. see that other line that I'm following so you can see how I've drawn out the gums so I, I know where to place the teeth they're not getting uneven and a couple of small little teeth here to make it so his gums aren't necessarily perfect and those teeth on the other side I made them point outward away from the mouth to kind of change it up a bit you can see there too took that putty again and I applied it to the gums. So I figured if it dries hard, it might be some, it might be good to have them holding the teeth down or smooth it out a bit. There's a shot of the putty there. I wanted to clean up the teeth so I put a brush in water and I started wiping it upwards like as you can see here not only did it clean out in between the teeth but it made a pretty cool groove on the gums of course it starts raining so I wasn't able to dry it, it took a while but once I was able to get it dry I moved on to trying to get the 
pump smooth there so I use drywall compounds you can see here I figured it'd be a lot easier to sand than that putty working on the eyes trying to get them cleaned up give them a bit more durability and you can see it's a lot easier to sand this and time to move on to paint this is just a trim clad black that I used for my trailer and it's held up over the years on the trailer so I figured this would be a really good protective coating so I put it on everything even the teeth you can see it's really shiny paint though get it over everything and that's a really good protective layer this is a white acrylic paint that I used for the inside of the eyes to brighten them up a bit, clean them up, and sharpen the lines a bit. You can see sharpening that line right there. Makes it look a lot better. And then time to move on to the teeth. This is, again, this is really time consuming, so I sped it up. I think overall this took about 45 minutes. For the, for the first time through. It was tricky to try and paint it and not get the white paint on anything else so took my time and tooth by tooth I eventually got through it. And then the gums again trying not to get paint on anything else just taking my time use the same paint for the nose and lighten it up a bit for the ears and uh, this is a close shot of the first layer I think it turned out really well so I did another coat and it was time to spray it with a flat clear coat spray paint that I got so that when this dries it, the mask won't reflect light as much at all so it's a, it's a flat, matte paint. And for the eyes, I used a plastic from the packaging of one of Harrison's toys, and I cut out the shape of the eye, and I hot glued them in place. I did this because I wanted the eyes to look glossy, like they're wet, and they will reflect light. And I think it turned out really well. There's Cartoon Cat. There you go guys, there's the finished Cartoon Cat mask. I think we're gonna use this as a decoy down at the creek. Mm -hmm. See if we can draw out the real Cartoon Cat. Get better shots of them. Maybe we'll try and get a clearer shot so that... Better evidence, get some better mm -hmm. evidence. I think it turned out really well. You can see that matte paint really took down the shine so it's not so reflective. The eyes I think work really well. Uh, this is what it looks like from the inside. So you can see really well. I had to put this strap in so that it would rest on my head and uh, not flop around. And so that's it. What do you think buddy? I think it looks good. Put it on me. Put it on you? Yeah. Uh oh. Alright, okay, hold on. Turn and look at the camera. Hi. So there you have it guys, that's the cartoon cat mask that we made. Had a lot of fun doing it. I think it turned out really well. So we're gonna do a few videos of wearing it down the creek, see how it looks. Should be a lot of fun, anybody? Mm -hmm. So why don't you guys give us a huge thumbs up subscribe click the notifications and maybe you'll catch some of those videos of us using this down the creek and peace out be a lot of fun thanks for watching guys see you next time